Good morning, friends. It's Tuesday morning, about 7.45 a.m. Kind of getting a late start this morning. Meal prepping before we go back to work. It's Tuesday, so that means back to work for us. Happy belated Father's Day to all you wonderful fathers out there. I hope you had a wonderful day. We've had a busy weekend. That's why I haven't been with you for a piece. Uh, Mason's birthday was Sunday and also Father's Day. So we spent... Um, Father's Day with Brock's parents and uh, kind of celebrated Father's Day and Mason's birthday. And then we kind of stretched Mason's birthday over to yesterday too. I fixed him the big fat juicy ribeye. He was happy. So we had a good weekend. Did some work out on the patio. Had errands to run. We got a lot accomplished this weekend before we have to go back to work. So it's happy. But Maddie and I did make it to the thrift store. And I want to show you my... Listen y'all, don't discount the thrift store for kitchen items that's the first place i run to when i go to our local thrift store and look at this beauty that i got this copper bottom pot oh susan i know you're seeing that and um it didn't have a lid so i found the lid this was 6.99 and i found the lid for 99 cents so 7.99 for that beauty listen oh there's some rich housewife out there that doesn't cook her junk is my my treasure so anyway, today we're going to do for lunch, um, the start of the show is going to be the cabbage, but I want to show you this really quickly. I get this at our local Bob and Carl's community market. If you're local here, these chicken thighs with this barbecue rub are amazing. This big skillet, look at this. This is holding nine chicken thighs. This I got local at Stevens Hardware. So if you're local, this is a lodge, so if you don't have a local one, you can get on lodge and find this. I love this skillet. These chicken thighs already come seasoned with this beautiful barbecue rub, but you can do all this at home with your own chicken thighs. Get you some nice barbecue rub or whatever seasonings you like. I put, I gotta check my salt pork. So I've got um, a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of my cast iron skillet. All right, friends. I'm just gonna. Oh, look! I, I finally got a time all over the place there. I got my new oil uh, dispenser, decanter, however you want to call it. My other one, you know, I dropped on the floor. That was a tragedy. That was a mess. I'm just gonna add a little bit more olive oil to the tops of these. There we go. And I want to go ahead and get these in the oven because I'm gonna put these in the oven for one and a half hours at 350 degrees yes i said one and a half hours they turn out amazing so that's why i want to get them on now because it's almost eight o'clock so that way they're done before we go to work so i'm just gonna go and look at my rear end sorry i'll come this way well you don't have to see my dirty air okay so the, really like i said the real star of this show is the cabbage now i'm making some fried cabbage y'all I love cabbage. I grew up eating a lot of cabbage. I would imagine because we grew it in our garden. It was inexpensive. It was a um, meal filler, filled you up, filled in those gaps. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna make fried cabbage today. We ate cabbage every way when I was growing up. I still like it. But like I said, I've got some salt pork. It's just a little package of salt pork. Thought I'd change it up. Um, you could do bacon. You could do, you know, any kind of thing like that. I really, I really wanted some turkey necks, but I couldn't find any. Must be seasonal. They had turkey wings, but okay. So salt pork is just a little bit thicker. It smells like, smells like my child in here. Childhood. Doesn't smell like my child. I don't know. One of might smell like bacon. Anyway, smells like my childhood. My dad cooked a lot of fresh side when I was growing up. So it just, it's just a wonderful smell in here this morning. So anyway, I'm browning this off. I want to render some of that fat out. I want to take, draw out some of that beautiful juice, bacon juice out there this morning. So I'm going to let that go. I'm going to get it nice and brown. And then I'm going to take it out of the skillet. And then I'll come back and show you what we're going to do next. I chopped my cabbage up. This was a very small head of cabbage. And you can see how much it made. So, um, Cut it up however you like. If you like bigger pieces, smaller pieces, that's your choice. I'm gonna cook this bacon off and then I'll be back to show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're back. That salt pork has cooked. Here, look at this. I've just taken it out. Had a taste it for quality control. 
it was good. So anyway, I've got that. I'm going to put that back in the cabbage later, but I don't want it to get too hard or cook away. So I'm going to leave it here to the side. So inside my skillet here, I left probably a fourth of a cup of that delicious bacon grease. Now I have my, this is my bacon bowl. I've had this my whole life. Probably was born with it instead of a silver spoon. I was born with this bowl. So this is my grease bowl. I always pour my hot grease in this metal bowl. That way I don't have to worry about glass shattering. I let it cool, then I transfer it to my mason jars. These bowls, now, like I said, we've had these my whole life, but I do know, now I noticed that um, in the camp, camp, uh, camping section of like Walmart, they sell these sets of plates and things. So if you really are interested in a metal bowl, that's where you can find it. Now, if you're local, you go down to JR's, they also sell these. I have full plate sets I've had for years of these metal plates. I grew up on those. We also drink out of mason jars. And when my friends came over, they thought it was cool and they would fight over them. So dad had to go get a whole set of mason jars. How that came about was when uh, my family lived on the farm and my mom would take my dad drinks out on the combine. She would get the big mason jars with the lids and fill them up with whatever beverage she was taking in. And as kids thought that was cool, so we would drink out of mason jars. Then it became cool. So there you go, there's a little family farm history there with the mason jars. So I've added um, about a fourth a cup of that bacon grease, and then I have a half a cup of chopped onions. As always, onions are optional. Now the skillet's a little hot, so I've got it sitting on a trivet here. So I'm gonna try to pick this up here. Now I know this looks like a lot of cabbage, but if you've cooked a lot of cabbage, you also know it cooks down like spinach. So this is really gonna reduce. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get all of that stirred up with those, I think it's cool enough now, I can sit here, with that bacon grease, that nectar, that bacon nectar. Now I left it a little bit here on the side just in case I need more. So at this point, I'm just going to get all of that stirred in with that cabbage and those onions, okay? Oh. It's gonna be delicious. I've got those chicken thighs, as you know, in the oven. All right, so it looks like we've got it good incorporated. So now I'm gonna come in with some, keeping it old school right now, just some salt, pepper, paprika. This is um, coarse sea salt. I really want to hit that really well with the salt. I'm going to come in with some pepper. Now this time I'm not going to add any butter or the bacon back. That's going to come back at the end. So we're just going to we'll get this cabbage cooked out. Now I personally like my cabbage cooked soft because I have diverticulitis. So I really have to be cautious of how I eat my vegetables. Or if not, I'll be super sick. So. If you don't have any restrictions like that, cook your cabbage however you want it. Soft, hard, however you like it. A little bite. So we're just gonna add in a little bit of paprika. Also, you could add some Aleppo pepper, some red pepper flakes, some chili powder. If you like it a little spicy. There's, this the cabbage is so versatile. I think it's underrated. It's so delicious. I love it grilled. I love it in slaw. Ooh, cabbage, you're the winner today. You are the queen, cabbage queen. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put this back on my oven. Not my oven, my stove. Now, I may, for me, add a little bit of chicken stock um, if it seems a little dry, and that'll help um, cook it down a little bit softer for me. So we're gonna put it back on the stove. I'm gonna give her some time, and then I'll come back and show you, and I'll move the camera around so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, friends, I'm sorry. I know this is a weird angle. I want you to see how this cabbage is looking. This is about 14 minutes in on medium heat. As you can see, it's starting to get soft and delicious. It smells wonderful. So now is the time I'm gonna come back in with that salt pork. I left it chunky, like me. I'm gonna add that right in. Get that all back together. Because it's really close to being done. Now, for most people, this would probably be the time that you would um, finish it, take it off the heat. But because of me, I'm going to have to cook it just a tad bit softer. You could add potatoes. You could add smoked sausage. 
But it's just this old school fried cabbage with some bacon. Now I'm gonna come in with about a tablespoon of butter. Oh, wait. And let that stir around. Now I'm gonna come in and add a little bit more pepper. Okay. I'm gonna give it a taste. See if I need to add any more salt. Mmm. So delicious. Oh, yeah, I could eat this for breakfast. I'm not going to, it's for tonight, for lunch. There we go, friends. Wonderful, beautiful, old school fried cabbage. Now listen, your mamma, you, anybody in the Appalachian has their own fried cabbage recipe. I'm just showing you how I did mine. Love it. Try it. Give cabbage a chance. Give it a chance, friends. Here we go, friends. That finished product. We look at that old school cooked cabbage. Of course, it's low carb. It's high in deliciousness. So it's going to be perfect to go with those barbecue rubbed thighs that I have in the oven. I've got about 53 more minutes. So that's going to give me time to get my kitchen cleaned up, dishes done, and get ready for work. So there you have it. Give Cabbage a chance. She's quite the queen. All right, friends. Like always, if you're new here, like and subscribe. Hang out with us. Check out these recipes. Have a great day, friends.